Russell Gahagan here from Russell's Fishing Tech coming back at you with another video. Today's topic, size matters. Yes, we're talking spoon size. That's the important topic for today. Each and every manufacturer who makes trolling spoons for the Great Lakes generally makes different size spoons. For example, here at Salmon Candy, we make three sizes. We make the mini spoon, we make the standard spoon, and we make the magnum spoon. So when you're talking different sizes, there's, I get questions all the time. When do you use the different sizes or for what species or what technique or whatever? So there's two different ways that I kind of break down the sizing and, and why I use them and how. And I'll explain it to you now. One is species of fish. I, I really do think the five different species tend to prefer different sizes of spoons. Um, and I'll run through those real quickly. So brown trout, for example, my go-to is the mini spoon. I fish brown trout primarily in spring, maybe a little bit throughout the summer, but not often. So I really, really target this mini spoon as I think it, it mimics the goby, uh, the round goby, which is the main forage for the brown trout. And if the water is really, really dirty um, and or I'm going to fish out a little further away from the shoreline, I may go to this standard spoon. Uh, again, this is just kind of basic stuff that I, I really like. I, I definitely am not going to say that I've never caught a brown trout on a magnum spoon because I have, but I can probably count on my two hands how many ma uh, magnum spoon brown trout I've caught. Uh, standard spoon and mini spoons, I've, I've caught hundreds and maybe even a thousand. Um, I've caught a lot of brown trout over the years on mini and, and standard size spoons. When it comes to coho salmon, I would say it's very similar. I prefer mini spoons and I prefer standard spoons. The only time I would see any real success with magnum spoons would be if the cohos are really deep. Uh, sometimes in July and maybe even into August, if we get really, really warm water and the cohos are really, really down deep, like 70, 80, 90, 100 plus down, we may see that, that magnum spoon become okay. Uh, steelhead, same thing again. I'm really a fan of the mini spoon. Uh, Primarily, I'm a standard spoon guy when it comes to um, steelhead, but they're one of the few species that I actually do use all three sizes. I will fish magnum spoons for steelhead in that same sort of thought process in a deeper setting. King salmon, I do not fish very much of the mini spoon. I'm primarily fishing the magnum and the standard. And my take on this is when it comes to kings, if I'm fishing in the top 50 feet of the water column, I'm almost exclusively, exclusively using the standard spoon. If I'm gonna fish deeper than 50 down, I'm almost exclusively using the magnum spoon. But I very, very rarely, if ever, have targeted kings with the mini spoon. And again, I think that has to do a little bit more of the forage base. I think kings are trying to chase primarily adult size alewives. Um, so the bigger bait generally tends to work for those species. Uh, lake trout, lake trout are another one that definitely can be um, well versed again. In the spring of the season, uh, if you're fishing shallow water, you may have some success with the mini spoon, but I generally don't target the lake trout too much with mini spoons. I would, I would say my go-to size would be more of the standard spoon, uh, especially early in the year. And then if we get into the summer and I'm going to put out kind of a multi-species bait, this particular color, Wonder Wolverine, would be a great color for multi-species. Um, you know, you will have some success catching big lake trout on magnum spoons down real deep. The second part I've kind of already touched on, but I want to kind of hit again is um, depth of water. How far down I'm fishing a bait definitely affects the, the size that I like to fish. So when I'm fishing mini spoons, I'm usually fishing those along the shoreline or up in the top 20 feet of the water column. I like to fish my standard spoons like in that 20 to 50 feet of the water column, as I mentioned before. I, I really prefer those in that particular stretch at like 20 to 50, 20 to 60, maybe foot of the water column. And then the minute I'm gonna get below 50 foot, so whether I'm fishing them on a downrigger or a longline copper or lead core, and I'm gonna be 50 foot or deeper, I'm almost exclusively gonna be running Magnum spoons. So it really doesn't matter, um, you know, what your favorite brand is or what your favorite uh, colors are. Take a look at size, because size definitely matters depending on the species you're chasing, depending on the time of year and how deep you're gonna fish, will help you select each and every day you go out fishing, which size of which spoon you should start with today. Good luck and good fishing. Look for my next video and don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Russell's Fishing Tech. Have a great day.